Our first group tonight is going to be our junior high concert band. So let's give them a round of applause for being very quiet. And uh, this gentleman is in the program, and uh, he's done a lot with our, our band and our color guard. And uh, he and I talked a little bit about this, and I said, hey, would you like to kind of help out? Because he's kind of popped in uh, every so often to help out with the junior high band. So uh, our first piece that we're going to do is called Manchester March. It's by John Edmondson. And I'd like to uh, ask to the podium for this evening is Mr. Andrew Cora to conduct this march. So please welcome Andrew Cora. Can we give one more hand to Mr. Andrew Cora for conducting the event? Okay, our next auction is going to be a very mysterious song. We like doing real um, eerie type of music. Uh, I guess it's something the kids are really into this year. Uh, but uh, we we played this guy's music before, and uh, so we started working on this during the uh, uh, when school started, and uh, they really love this song. So, uh, so you're welcome to kind of close your eyes and think of like a hidden world, like an unforeseen world. So that's kind of the, the illusion that we're trying to create. So this is a world that's kind of hidden. We don't know where it's located. And uh, that's kind of where this, this journey of this song takes us. So the, our uh, final section for tonight is a piece called Hidden World.
ladies and gentlemen, presenting their 2016 production of Kings and Warriors, under the direction of drum major Montana Golden. Please welcome your 2016 Scholastic State finalist, the Spirit of Triton Marching Band.
the spirit of Triton Marching Band. Give it up for him one more time. Baby. Okay, we have something special we'd like to do for this evening, so uh, please take your seats and we'll be with you in a few seconds. So what we'd like to do, and, and the students don't know anything about this, Sue's phones, go ahead and set them down. Guys. Uh, we're going to give out some certificates of appreciation to uh, the students who've done such a great job uh, this season, and it started back in July for a lot of these guys, and so uh, we want to publicly recognize some of these kids who have done just a, an outstanding job during the marching season. Uh, putting on a production like this, even on the stage, takes a lot of rehearsal time. So uh, it's even more so when we're out there on the field marching and everything like that doing our show. Um, so what we'd like to do is I'd like, to, first of all, to introduce my staff. So if I could have the staff that's here this evening to come up st on stage, please. Staff? Oh, they're here. Here we go. Awesome. Thanks, guys. So we have, uh, we've, we've been very fortunate uh, this year here at, at Triton to have uh, people that work with us. Last year I was pretty much by myself and uh, you know, we did, we did fairly well. Uh, we had, uh, in the percussion family, we had like three instructors, like, you know, just sporadically spread all over the season. And uh, so I, I ran into this guy uh, through uh, another person that I met who uh, lives in Warsaw and uh, so, uh, we have a, such a privilege to have this young guy help out this year, and this is Ben Ewing doing the percussion. You can kind of tell the kids like hanging out with Ben, because he's, he's a little bit, well, a lot younger than me, so it's, you know, <laughs> they don't have the old guy walking around, you know, barking at him and yelling at him. So, uh, the next person I want to introduce to you, uh, and she was one of my students uh, last year in the choir, and uh, so she came up to me and was kind of talking a little bit about it, and I was kind of, well, you know, just trying to find somebody to help. And uh, last year we kind of had a little bit of a, an issue as well with uh, color guard instructors, so, uh, so she came this year to help out, and uh, this is Kayla Morris helping out with the color guard. Uh, this next gentleman, uh, it, it, we kind of go way back, I mean, way, way back, so, uh, like, uh, eight years, ten years, yeah, so, yes, um, uh, this gentleman has, uh, I ran into him at the store, and, uh, and I said, hey, how's it going, and, you know, everything's going pretty good with him, and I said, hey, would you be interested in teaching, and he said, uh, well, let me think that over, so, uh, we, uh, we've asked uh, Andrew to come join us this year, uh, and he's done a tremendous job in helping not only with the color guard, but also helping with the entire band. So ladies and gentlemen, this is Andrew Core doing color guard. Yeah. So, as I told the kids, this is not a one-man show. Uh, uh, you know, I, it, it takes, you know, uh, a village, that's right, a village to kind of get this going. Uh, the other people that are not here who popped in and out, uh, Charlie Lawrence, uh, Mr. Lawrence is a Spanish teacher up in South Bend at John Adams. Uh, and uh, so Charlie and I have been together for years, and uh, so he's popped in a little bit this year, so we appreciate uh, Mr. Lawrence helping out. And also, I can't forget uh, uh, another part of the family here on the staff, uh, uh, Ben's mom is, uh, is a clarinet player, uh, Judy, so let's give it up for Judy. And she's helped that up, kind of twisted her arm a little bit, say, hey, you know, don't, don't be afraid to come back and help out the Woodwinds during the, uh, for the winter concert and also for our contest. So, and, uh, so that was, that's the staff. Uh, and one last person is Matt Wise, who Matt's not here with us. Uh, he lives in the Fort Wayne area and he writes the drill, what that is, the fancy word for all the marching, you know, cool things we did on the field. And uh, with his help and the help of the staff, uh, we went to Homestead for the prelims. We took first place in marching. So that was awesome. 
we had Matt come in a little bit, uh, actually more this year than he did last year, to come help out the band with the marching and everything like that, and it really paid off. And then, of course, as you know, those of you that know, we went to uh, Scholastic State Finals, and there's a big trophy sitting out there, uh, just a representation of all the hard work the staff and the students have done. So I want to continue with that. So without further ado, we're going to announce uh, some key people in this uh, organization with the band and the color guard of what they've done so well. So what we'd like to do is uh, uh, introduce to you uh, our outstanding rookie of the season. This is the person who's never marched before, never done this ever in their life. And so uh, talking with the staff, we decided the rookie of the season goes to, drum roll, Dylan Fear. Now we go with the, uh, oh there's hugs, we, uh, it's, that's what we do here I guess, you know, in the band world, hugging and crying and cry, tears of joy, tears of joy, <laughs> not tears of sadness, not this year, and hopefully never. Uh, so, with having a rookie, we also think, well, we need to honor also the veteran, the person who's marched before at least one year with Mr. Seal or Mr. Fox, you know, just they, they, they marched, right? So for this year's, um, this season's Outstanding Veteran goes to Jarrett Gard. <laughs> Jarrett's surprised. He, he didn't think so. He's like, me? No, the thing is with these two guys, is, you know, Dylan hardly ever misses rehearsal, he never wants to go home. So, and then um, Jared is always, he's, he's the one that always says, can we go till 10 o'clock at night? I said, no, we're not going till 10 o'clock at night, uh, Jared. So, but those two guys that keep us very busy. The next student is, this will be a student with the most improved performer. This is a student that came to us, uh, you know, needs some work, you know, a little bit of the marching, a little bit of the music, and for this year's most improved performer goes to David Nuss. Chairs over there are more in line too. Oh, stairs, chairs, and stairs. Oh. <laughs> all right, our next student. This now we get into kind of the section. So this is these are real tough. All these are hard. This next uh, student uh, is in the Woodwind family, and uh, again, this is really hard to decide what we're going to do with this. But uh, this student really shows some really great improvement and very good marching skills. And uh, we're so proud of this student doing such a great job in the Woodwind uh, family. And this goes to Greta Stockler. Now the brass, the most outstanding brass player. Another hard choice for us as a staff. Uh, this student demonstrates some great uh, leadership as far as their musicality, marching and music, uh, what they play on their instrument. And uh, we're just so proud of all these kids uh, to include this student for best brass player. And this goes to Joshua Taylor. Too. <laughs> okay, one one more uh, family of instruments. We did woodwinds. For, oh, percussion. Sorry, good. Okay, so uh, outstanding percussion player. Uh, so we had quite a few to choose from. Uh, all outstanding students, and so this year, student for outstanding percussion goes to Caitlin. I. with so much energy, which I have no clue where this person would get their energy. I would love to have that energy. Um, 
never miss a practice, comes with a positive attitude. So, outstanding color guard member goes to Tony Stevens. school year so okay all right so as I uh, now we're gonna go into more group type uh, awards so I need to have all the section leaders come right up here on stage with the staff all the section leaders right over here please all section leaders come on up So these, these students uh, have gone through a little bit of training on student leadership and how they should handle situations that happen, uh, mainly with their peers. And we do put a lot of responsibility on all these students right here. And these represent the section leaders of each section. So let's give a round of applause for these outstanding section leaders. Now, if you're a senior, stay on stage. Everybody else, go back to your section. Senior, stay on stage. And one. Okay, so this year we have four seniors. Uh, they had something that happened was so cool this past Saturday. Um, the Scholastic uh, finalists allowed all the seniors of all the schools to come and uh, hang out with the drum majors and the color guard captains and all these people. And so. They got recognized this past Saturday at Scholastic Finals. So we're so proud of these four students and the leadership that they bring. And um, um, I, I, I hope I don't get too emotional here on, on these guys, but um, it really, no, no, it's not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Um, you know, it's, it's sweet but bitter, you know. And those of you, we've all been in that situation, right? We've been in band. Um, where we had our last year, and um, you know, I told these four, I said, you know, you are the first senior class that made Scholastic State Finals. <laughs> yeah, first one. Yeah. And that that is amazing. They can take this with them for the rest of their lives. So when they come back to this school, we're gonna have that big trophy sitting out there somewhere in this school so they can see it and they can tell their kids and their kids and say, look, I was the first senior class to, for excellence in this band program. So ladies and gentlemen, our seniors here for the band. Thank you. seniors thank you very much last but not least on the student side this student has done like almost everything that I've asked and the staff has asked and this individual has demonstrated so much great leadership and what they do and this is their second year doing this and ladies and gentlemen our drum major Montana Gold come on down Okay, 
Yeah, 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 she's got to last the rest of the year now. Come on now. Come on, come on now. And potentially uh, for next year too, so. Okay. All right. Uh, so, we, we had an opportunity to really recognize these great kids that you allowed to do this activity, but there's some really great adults here, so we'd like to recognize them. So, as I call your name, and if they are here, or, or representatives here, please come to the, to the stage, please. Um, and I apologize if I mispronounced your name. I really do. Okay, our first uh, adult who has been helping out, uh, and I don't think she really expects this, is Becky Golden. So, if I call your name, Bobby Golden. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Grisby. Come on down, come on down, come on down. If you're in the audience, please come on down. We'd love to give you a certificate of recognition. Mr. and Mrs. Stage. Mr. and Mrs. I apologize for messing this up. Renatter? Renator? Renatter? Is it Renatter? Okay. <laughs> Mr. Steve Weiser? Is uh, Mr. Weiser here? Steve here? Steve. And uh, Mr. Uh, William Young. stage uh, couple here, and how appropriate, right? This magnificent castle was designed by these two wonderful people. Can we give them a round of applause? <laughs> you know, I will tell you how, how magnificent this thing is. It's so magnificent. When we went to Homestead for prelims, the New Haven band director says, I want to buy that. So, we have somebody that wants to buy this castle, and we went to finals, and we had people going, that's really cool. So, I don't know, we, we may have to post it, you know, on the school website or something, put out a bid for it. We'll probably start with $10,000 first. And then we go from there. After I talked to Mike and all the, all the blood, sweat, and tears he and Angie had to do, and set this up, and uh, all these parents that you saw that came up here, they also had a big hand in, in uh, designing this castle. So thank you so much, parents, for doing that. There's three people that I would like to come to the stage. Um, Mom? Trina? Trina Yard? Trina? Trina And Jennifer? Jennifer, come on up. Jennifer Young? These three ladies, since I've been here, which is only since last year, have done an amazing job of getting this organized for this past year. This has been, you know, you know, Jennifer can tell you, I mean, late nights she's texting me, or I'm texting her, and she goes, okay, Mr. Seal, what are we gonna do for, for lunch tomorrow? I don't know, what do you wanna do for lunch tomorrow? So, with Jennifer and Beth, and Trina, I mean, these ladies have been fabulous getting things going for us, uh, getting food, feed the kids, get the stuff organized, 
at a contest, and uh, these three ladies have done a, an outstanding job of helping this work out for us. So, students and families alike, can we give it up for these three wonderful ladies? All right. Thank you so much.